Welcome to Probably Nothing, the IOTA and Shimmer news from the last week. I'm Alexander wearing the latest IOTA fashion. First up, we are celebrating Beefrest Wallet's birthday. They turned one year old on the 70th of April. Happy birthday from all of us. There was also a blog post published with all the achievements of the 12 months. They were also asked to build another bridge to a social network, but no further information was given. On the 18th of April, Shimmer announced a collaboration with the PITE network. PITE is a data aggregator that provides real-time market data to institutional users. The service announced it will run its data on the Shimmer network. Pyte will use the Shimmer network to optimize the performance and security and provide better market data. The collaboration between Pyte and Shimmer is expected to revolutionize the future of financial data and financial market delivery, the article said. Initially, the following pairs will be displayed on the Shimmer network. Shimmer and Dollar, IOTA Dollar, Ethereum Dollar, Bitcoin Dollar, USDC Dollar and Theta dollar. Since the launch of the Shimmer EVM, 1 million transactions have been generated. With 38,000 addresses and over 2,200 smart contracts have been written in less than a month. I don't want to know how much Ethereum fees that would have cost. Since this is way too little and we all want to see more, more transactions and more power. Battle of Activity was launched. On the 19th of April, this is run by the TEA of the Tangle Ecosystem Association. There are 1.3 million shimmers to be won, which is equivalent to about 78,000 at a rate of 6 cents. The program is called Treasures of Shimmer and is designed to encourage the development of applications on the Shimmer platform. Developers can receive rewards in the form of Shimmer coins if they reach certain milestones or successful implement their applications. The competition will start on the 3rd of May. Project must register in advance in order to participate in the competition. What do we get out of it? Well, the projects have to entice us with rewards and prizes. The more we test their projects, the more activity their projects records and they get closer to winning. A win-win-win situation. Patent time. Muandelo has found a patent. It was filled by Dell Productions. The method involves annotating data in a data trust network with an annotation containing data trust information, receiving a ledger stream containing the annotation and a representation of the data and creating a few node in a data structure corresponding to the data. IOTA has also been mentioned again several times by news portals. First, Ethereum news and the news from the last time with Spice5, then the partnership with Pyte Network, Dell's patent was also mentioned and even Swiss One Capital took notice. The upcoming battle for activity is also mentioned. The Alvarium project by Dell and IOTA also gets an article. And that's it for Ethereum news for now. I have a feeling someone found the AI for him. What was definitely written by a human can be read on Being Crypto. William Sanders has an article titled What is Maximal Extractable Value? MEV. William explains how an MEV is created, how it is applied to DeFi platforms and mining transactions and what impact it can have on Ethereum and other blockchains. The article also highlights the risks and challenges associated with MEVs, including the need to find solutions to balance MEVs and ensure fair distribution of values. IOTA is of course mentioned as a one solution. Soonlabs has released their April development update and it's full of great new features. You can now choose your own profile pictures, you can import your own tokens from Firefly into Sooniverse and you can change the wallet address of a space. Let's stay with Sooniverse, they publish an article titled Sooniverse and the Shimmer EVM. Soonlabs have developed its first smart contract to integrate with IOTAB on the Shimmer EVM. The smart contract will allow Soonlabs to launch the liquidity mining program and reward those who provide liquidity for the Soon token on the Shimmer EVM with 24 million Soon tokens. 
It's around about $7 million over the next three years. Users who provide liquidity for any of the Soon token pairs on IOTOBI can contribute their tokens to the smart contract, which emulates the current staking program on the Sooniverse. The number of Soon tokens awarded as rewards per pair each week is fixed, but the liquidity provided for each pair is variable. This means that a certain strategy may be required to maximize the reward. The first two service modules to be introduced are IOTABI and Snowman Finance. We will be working with them on the Shimmer EVM test network to launch a campaign using both the apps and the Soon tokens. More information will be released shortly. Speaking of Snowman Finance, we haven't heard from them in a while, but their website has a lot going for it. With TangleCon just around the corner, there are course a few nominations and it's up to you. The question is, who inspires you with their work? Which project is moving IOTA forward? As always, you can find the link to the pool in the description below and maybe I'll inspire one or two others. There was a community regulation call on Discord that compares DeFi and smart contracts with traditional products. It is about political regulators, licenses, taxes, securities and and and. The video lasts 45 minutes. The fair launch on Shimmersea started on the 24th of April and those who had a Lumi NFT could whitelist a maximum of 1000 Shimmersea first. This phase lasted 3 days. Phase 2 started on the 27th of April and in this phase everyone with a Lumi, IOTA Ape, IOTA Bot and Sunabot NFT could also whitelist. For this the project made a snapshot weeks ago. There was no limit in this phase. The aim was to raise 3 million Shimmer C for liquidity and within the first 30 minutes of phase 2 50% of the 3 million had been reached. To everyone's delight. 3 millions were sold out after only three and a half hours. A complete success. Congratulations. Kowai both at ETH Taipei and reminded some friends and acquaintances about IOTA and Shimmer. Maybe we'll see more from Asia soon, as Gary Jin has also been very active there in recent weeks. Mariana de la Roche was at the Alternative Finance Forum 2023 and sent us all a nice picture. In case anyone hasn't seen it, Bitcoin and Ethereum are not on it, but IOTA is. The new assembly figures are to be noticed. As of the 27th of April, 804 million assembly have been distributed. There are still 15 days left to participate in this round. I don't want to withhold a small animation by JSTO art from you, as it looks pretty cool. Accumulator, the D app with the wild squirrel, has awoken from hibernation and it's ready for Shimmer EVM, so we can expect more in the coming days. Last up is IOTA Heroes. These have been audited by Audit1 and the results are impressive. There were flaws found, but they were been fixed. Work has also been done on Shimmer EVM, so we are now at Alpha 14. I expect that there will be a major update before the big event in May. The parameter task force worked and updating the parameter table and clarifying the relationships between parameters. The robustness of the Tangle 2.0 concerns will be published in the Wall Tools 2022 LNICST 2 proceedings. Work is being done to solve meshing problems, including the references mana cost RMC, to avoid price manipulations. The RMC will be set retrospectively and updated slowly to avoid price fluctuations. Work will also be done on finalization by establishing proof of safety and liveness of the finalization's flags. Finally, a talk titled Beyond Chains will be given at the UZH Blockchain Center. That's it for the episode. That was all the news and updates. May is going to be exciting. The Shimmer team will be launched projects and we as users will be able to participate. So prepare yourself well for May. And whoever is still saying that the IOTA Foundation is not delivering anything has probably not heard the shot. The ecosystem is flourishing. But that too is probably nothing. Mm -hmm.